What is that? So I hope that by now you guys have been able to watch our first episode on Starfield and kind of just been able to take all that in and digest it and think about it. I've slept on this game, I've thought about this game, and then I've thought about it some more. And I'm really happy with, with the outcome. I'm really happy with how well it runs. Of course I'm running on PC, a pretty good PC for that matter, and it's been running sensational almost little to no errors or issues or bugs it's been really really smooth and i'm really happy for the xbox uh pc community because it feels like it's been a long time since we've i don't know been waiting for an xbox game that's been of this magnitude you know what i mean and so far bethesda has truly delivered and this game has been absolutely incredible so far and i know we've only done three missions but we've played for like eight hours so that just goes to show you you can get lost in the sauce when it comes to this game but we're going to continue today's episode with doing some more main quests that's going to be our main focus for this playthrough and then once that's done we're going to try and venture off to different things obviously depending on how those main quest videos do i have no idea how many hours this is going to take us but i really want to focus on the main story and mainly because there's just so many different games and i, I just don't want to be slacking or you know staying behind the curve but uh let me know what you guys think so far of the game i know we still have to kind of explore a little bit on the whole ship building and stuff but i'm hoping that doing some of these main quests we'll get to have someone hold our hand along the process and teach us the ways of building ships and whatnot usually I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen now, whether it's now or on the next video, but we'll see. I'm trying to take things little by little. There's just so much to uncover. I am honestly overwhelmed. And also this is our room. It wasn't that room over there. It's actually this one. Um, on the other one, you can't really sleep. You can sleep on this one. And we have our safe here, which we can actually go and we can go to our inventory. And if we have things that we don't want, we can transfer them as you guys know. Your companions can hold stuff for you, but that's more or less like when you're on the go. They they also have some sort of capacity as much as, you know, weight that they can hold or whatnot. But we're going to sleep, and I want to see if sleeping uh, regenerates our health. I want to say yes. I'm just going to go ahead and sleep uh, maybe two hours. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Hey, you're up. Perfect. We have so much to do to see. You are absolutely right. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to start off with a mission, a main quest mission, which I'm just going to show you guys here really quickly from Sam Co. Sarah Morgan wants me to join an expedition headed up by Sam Co. Another constellation member. We're going to free star collective space. You know, I have to say, I felt like oxygen was a big issue in the beginning, but it was all just based on how much stuff I was carrying. And I just really got caught up in that. And then once I started sorting on my inventory and being aware of like not to pick up everything you see, then it became a bit better. So I'm not going to upgrade for this little round of upgrades. I'm not going to upgrade the oxygen. I think we should be fine. I do want to increase my health by just a bit more. Um, I think we've already have uh, rank two. Let me see. We have the purple. So that's rank two. Which oh, rank two is available. Oh, okay. I guess we'll do that. I also wanted to go here to tech. And this is for my thrusters. Boost jump 10 times while in combat. That's already been completed. And uh, the second upgrade is using a boost pack expends less, uh, less fuel. I'm thinking maybe we should do something uh, ship related, perhaps. Ballistic ship weapons have 10% increased damage. Yep, I'm going to do that. Perfect. You know what? Let's let's upgrade our boost here. Our boost back. Spends less fuel. And then the next one's going to be a regenerates quicker. So now we're going to head down below. And I believe Sam Co is down here. Can we just like jump? Yep. I feel like I left him hanging at the end of the uh, last video. Because I wanted to do uh, the Barrett mission to rescue him and whatnot. I felt like that was going to come full circle. And we did. So. You ready to leave? Sure, dude. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, mm. Cora and I will just be riding passenger. 
travel to Aquila City. Dad, oh. do you think Solomon Cove would have liked me? Sure. Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? Well, if you listen to your grandpa, Solomon Cove would have given me a good woman. Right, should but I? I think he would have liked the man I grew into. Let me talk to her, maybe? Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. Do you and your dad uh, really grow, uh, go everywhere together? Do you like traveling with your dad? What do you do on board? What do you want to be when you grow up? Interesting questions. Yup. I've been his co-pilot since I was old enough to read a map. He lets me fly sometimes. And fix things aboard. And use the intercom and everything. I just have to promise not to complain about having to stay aboard the ship when we're somewhere dangerous. Dad says when I'm older, he'll teach me how to use a pistol. And once I'm a good enough shot, I can go with him anywhere. I can't wait to get older. That's what every kid says. Hold on, I'm not done talking to you. Come here. Aquila's a fun place. Just keep your sidearm at the ready is what Dad always says. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Burr. Burp. <laughs> Do you like traveling with your dad? It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once. Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? Uh, neither do I, honestly, but sure, yeah. Can you imagine? I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint. You can ask. I promise I'll be good. All right, good to know. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, so... I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I miss Vasco. He was cool. All right, so we're going to get out of here. Head over into New Atlantis outside of the lodge. These are all main missions. Activities. Retrieve waiting flowers. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Speak with Trevor. Check out on your ship's... The girl by the tree. The scientist by the tree. I don't think we ever spoke to the scientist by the tree. I think... That scientist is actually right here. Again, whenever we have time and we're close by to some things, we'll do them. But for the most part, main quest is the way we're going to be headed uh, for the majority of this playthrough. And um, yeah, I'm not going to repeat myself. We know what I said. Kelton Frush. I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Okay, is something wrong? You sound concerned. Yes. Concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passers-by, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? I'd love to help. I'm kind of busy right now. I might be interested if there's something in it for me. A mercenary, huh? <laughs> well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Sure. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Okay, so how big is this little side quest? Locate biosensors. Let's see. We haven't really explored much of uh, New Atlantis as well. I mean, this place is massive, as you can see. We've got uh, that over there. How far is the other one? Let me see. Just want to see how far this is. Alright, this is not that far, truthfully. We've got 
two more, three more after this. We'll just see what this is all about. Okay, so let's just pick up these uh, little biosensors. Not half bad. Okay, we'll help out the man and then we'll head out to our main missions. I just want to see if we can gain something from this. You know us, we're mercenaries all day, every day. <sighs> My CO2 levels right now are killing me. But again, if you have low, uh, low weight on your inventory, you just jog a little bit and that CO2 will start to... Uh, deplete and you'll start to regain oxygen which is going to be obviously crucial and you can also do it while using your jetpack which means you can use less oxygen biosensor something to report oh who's this uh what the hell hey are you looking for eggs too i've only found one so far but i want to find more before anyone else does so if you see some, can you tell me? Sure. <laughs> Get lost, kid. Uh, the egg you found wasn't beeping, was it? All right, so that's actually an egg, not a swab. All right. Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Wait, hold on. Where are you going? Hi, mister. What the heck? Oh. Okay. So we had a decent amount of options for dialogue, and then he just dipped on me. All right, which way? This way? Yes. Can I jump over the trees? Woohoo! All right. UC distribution. Oh, shoot. What do we have here? Hello. I'm afraid. Due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. What is it that you do here? Uh, you bought an egg from a kid recently. I need it. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Oh, well, certainly. Before we ask for anything, let me see if she has the egg. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh. Grenades. Oh, some of these are pretty freaking dope. This one has a suppress. <laughs> what in the world? She's fucking loaded. Look at this. That looks really good. How much is that? Twenty three thousand. That's like half of what I have. Are you insane? Girl, get lost. A lot of the stuff we have, it's either in our ship or some of our companions have it and whatnot. Who, Jordan? That kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Does it matter? Can I just have it? It's none of your business. It's nothing, just some junk I dropped, uh, dropped the other day. It's sensitive scientific equipment, very important. Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Ooh. Can you just give it to me? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses, and it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. Oh, I see what's happening. say this was important after all. Steal the sensor. Honestly. It's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. I'm not going to steal it. It's 100 credits, bro. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Back to it, then. I mean, I could have gone over here. Service with a smile. That's the UC way. I could have stole it. You don't need to wear your helmet in here. You know that, right? 
I know, I know, but you know. I like wearing my helmet. What's your problem, dude? Okay, let's get out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer this, I guess, as an egg biosensor. Um, let's take it back to the guy by the tree, the scientist by the tree. And then we'll head out to our ship. I do want to see what we have. Is this another kiosk or is this just more information? Back to the grind. Apply for a job. Oh. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? What is this? Job application. Our mission statement to deliver the best quality of life improving uh, technology today before you need it tomorrow. Ryujin Industries has been a leader in technology since its creation. We strive toward advancement and believe there is always room for improvement. Fulfilling customer desire is our number one goal. Neuro Amps. Millions of people benefit from our Neuro Amps every day. Neuro Amps are designed to improve overall brain function in order to boost your quality of life. They've been used in medical monitoring, neurological healing, and as mental stabilizers to help with sleep, anxiety, and social skills. The first Neuro Amp was created by Ray DeCaris. A biotech engineer who specialized in neurological designs. The car is or was determined to harness the power of the mind and improve the aspects of everyday life. While initially only approved for military use, NeuroAmps became a public commodity in 2315 and continue to be Ryujin's primary product today. They said that apparently the game doesn't truly begin after you beat the main quest. Like, how does that even work? Let's see if this guy gives us something. It's the only reason why I'm doing this anyways. As if it isn't my favorite almost a lab assistant. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. Wait for Kelton's analysis. And just another moment. Boy, you better cough it up or something. It is working, isn't it? Bro, I got uh, a gun here with your name on it. Leaf. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. The tree grows in new lances. I speak to this guy. Well... There's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Glad your concerns were validated. That doesn't sound like good news. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner the bad news as it were is that the internal composition of the tree is changing in this particular case the tree is now regularly emitting ultra low frequency sound waves they're nearly imperceptible now but they're growing in strength this is something we've never observed before depending on how large these waves grow consequences for the city could be well, disastrous I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Oh, wow. 2,500. That's actually not bad. And we got a level up. You know what? I'm a happy camper. I'll take that. And we've got other missions. Check in with Kelton later. I guess there would be more to that. Ooh, what is this? A bonfire? Oh, who died here? Shit. What are you doing, Bear? Why are you running like that, man? You make me nervous. Hey, so I thought you might like this. I hope you do. Okay, for me? Thank you. Thanks, but you don't have to give me anything. You have a good eye for this sort of stuff. What is he talking about? Yes, it's for you. I kept the cooler stuff. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. What is it? My pleasure. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. 
alien sandwich man what the hell is your problem you just give me an an alien <laughs> this is disgusting all right well it does give me some benefits so i can't complain let me see did we ever give him anything i just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. Um, was it a big deal? Why don't you thank me with some credits? What would you do? Let's see, it wasn't a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Got to be part of the team. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. Charming, but no thanks. I do like cookies. They're one of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Hmm. Constellation is quite pro cookie because you see we value human accomplishments speaking of which I'm glad you joined Constellation thank you flirt how long have you been in Constellation thank you Barrett just figured I'd mention it since we haven't had much time to chat before you know being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. It's impossible to know what could have happened. Everybody lost somebody. It's part of life. Who is Irvin? Did he mention that? Irvin Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years before me. Yes, he's gone now. <laughs> I... I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> wow. More brilliant than any star. It's impossible to know what could have happened. What was he like? That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Oh, damn. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. If you want to talk about it, I'm here for you. Oh, I've been giving myself nothing but space and time <laughs> for years. But maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Okay, let me see. I didn't come to you for that, but yes? I came to you for of the course. gear trading. The reality of exploration is the balancing of supplies. We're right here in front of the kiosk, so no. Actually, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Right. Where Don't is worry. Sarah, by the way? Is she inside here? Or did we leave her back at the lodge? Let me see. I, I think the... Welcome I think I've back. got this ship full of people now. <laughs> Lynn, Sarah. Oh, there she is. Yeah, what is it? Something I miss Sarah. She was cool. Are you ready to head back out? Let's trade gear. If you okay. have any gear you want me to haul. Let's do my value because I want to start trading some crap. Um, This one. This one. The Kraken. All right. Packs. I'm going to keep it with the packs for now. I'm going to probably sell that one. I still don't know if I can trade in this kiosk because we already did. I just want to see and hopefully confirm if whenever a couple of days pass, if the kiosk actually has I more credits. It does. They have 5,000 credits to buy. I'll sell this crap. I'll sell that one. 
I saw this one. system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. Oh shoot. Fuel consumption. Maybe jet. Oh shit. So can we go to Olympus? Jump over here first. Alright, so we'll jump to Olympus and then we can uh, and then we can go over there. I think there was also There was also some sort of like, uh, I think we gotta pull this all the way up. I think there was also some sort of like site activity near Olympus. And I'm gonna take a look at that now just in case. But I'm Destroy the Crimson Fleet. There it is. I knew it. I freaking knew it. What level is that? I'm, I'm, I'm honestly terrified. Shall we try and do that? Abandon mine. That's a level 33. I'm not about to do all that shit. Land. The empty nest. Yeah, we gotta go that way. We can do that later. Um. Oh my god, look at everything here. Mining outpost. Bro, this is nuts. Oh my gosh. Now this would be a good planet to do an outpost. Abandoned mine. Yo, my gosh. Okay. Don't want to deviate. There's a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember this area, okay? I don't want to deviate, but I'm gonna remember this area. We have to go over here. So let's bring this down. Grab jump. There we go. I'm not gonna forget that spot. That, that's gonna be very important. That mining facility as well. It was level 33, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's free star it's space. Space. Scan in progress. All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. Oh, thank God. See, if we would gone to that mining outpost, we would have gotten probably some contraband, and we would have been stuck. Look at that. Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow. Alright, so we can land right over here. Right in Aquila City. Land. Let's get it. This is Arthur Morgan. Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail until this is over. All right, I'm excited. Sam, we'll uh, be locked as your follower if you continue. Understood. Let's get it. What about Cora? Is she coming? She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. That's exactly what she said. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. 
first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Hmm. Why not just uh, use a planet uh, scan to find it? Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Okay, Solomon Coe is your ancestor. Your family built Tequila City? Yeah. And the Coes have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Hold on a second. I just need to ask... Uh, I just need to bask in your celebrity status. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Smartass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Alright. Alright, uh... Never mind. Sorry. I'm thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. What are you doing, man? Stay. What do you just stay behind? It's me and Solomon Cole. You can go back to the ship or something, Barrett. Man, this place is nice. It's different because it just, it, you know, in this game, everything is so futuristic and this, this place actually looks normal. <laughs> this is really awesome. Established uh, in 2167 by Solomon Cole. Pretty cool. Surprise, this guy's not like the president here. Trade kiosk. Another trade kiosk. 5,000 for the vendor. Hold on. Can we uh, just check something out? What do they have? That's what I want to know. This is... No, this is buy. Sell. Okay, there's no buybacks. Because we haven't sold anything. As long as it's written and signed, you could be on a loaf of bread. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always buy. Kiosk right here for you. It's pretty dangerous out in space these days. Okay, just making sure. I know there's like shops and stuff that you can go to and buy certain things. Um, I just wanted to make sure that wasn't one of Hold them. Hold it. Oh, hi. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. <laughs> this guy must not know who we are. How do I get to Gal Bank? It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. Is Marshal Blake in charge of security? Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. What's the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. If people are in danger, then I want to help. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Man, look at this, bro. This is crazy. Kila City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Like who? Not you. Not one of your rangers, and not these city guards. This is nothing we can't handle. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Why is he busy? You need to stand back now. What's going on? It's a hostage situation. Now please, get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. I'm not here to cause trouble. Sounds like you could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Coe. Been a long time. 
I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. The Shaw Gang. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. Sounds like they've got to, uh, they've got the drop on you pretty good. Embarrassing. They must have made uh, some demands by now. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with it. So what's your plan? Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Um, if I could slip in unseen, I could take them out quickly. Maybe I can talk some sense into them. It might come to that, but first I just want you to talk to them. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't A shoot. negotiator? Hands where I can see <gasps> And don't try nothing. I'm not really a negotiator, but uh, here we go. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just going to walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. All right. Uh, first, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. What's your name? Let's just get this over with. This only works if you're willing to cooperate. It's Jed. Jed Bullock. Alright, good to meet you, uh... Jed, I'm Ray. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? Um, I give you my word, Jed. I just wanna help. Trust me, the Marshal, uh... The Marshal did. You really think you have a choice? I'm trying to persuade him. I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Damn, that's true. I promise, I'm just here to make sure nobody gets hurt. Talking to me is the only way you're getting out of here alive. I'm sure you're ready for a change of uh, scenery by now. Ooh. We've been in worse scrapes than this. We can handle being stuck in a bank. Fuck. Okay. I'm not on anyone's side here. Uh, don't you just want to get out of here? Let me start low. I, uh... Yeah. See what you mean. Let me let me let me start low. I get it. You're not taking any chances with uh, who you trust, but it's me or nobody. If nothing else, I'm your ticket out of that bank. Well, with this. I guess you have a point. Okay. I'm not on anyone's side here. You really want to stay trapped in that bank? Um, I'm be the only one keeping Marshall and his boys from bringing a very violent end to the situation. Let me try that one again. I guess that's true. Okay, I understand that you don't trust me, but right now I'm your only lifeline. Okay, fine. That was easy. Okay, I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. Tell me your demands. Uh, what's the condition of the hostages? They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. As much as we'd like to, none of us have shot one yet. Must be something you want, uh, so start talking before I get bored. Tell me your demands. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. 
After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Okay. How do I know you'll keep your word? It's a pretty tall order. It could take a while to get you a ship. Hmm. How do I know I'll, you'll keep your word? What? Do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Oh, hell. The Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Hmm. Persuade. What do you mean? Surrender now before anyone gets hurt, and things will be a lot better for you. Damn it! I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> Those hostages did nothing wrong. Don't make them pay for your mistakes. Hostages. Nice. Give up now and uh, you'll do some time, sure, but nowhere near as much as you would if a hostage dies. Stand down now and the punishment could still be light. Maybe you're right. Yeah. If nobody gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. Alright. If even one hostage dies, your robbery charge become murder charge. You don't want that to happen. Yeah. What if your hostages have families? You really want to deprive children of... Yeah, I think that's a good one. Part of me just wants to be rid of these people. But we need them right where they are. Ah, shit. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Damn. Oh my god, I should have chosen the other one. I'm like, oh, this is easy. Those guys are scared. I can tell. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Time for, no, uh, for negotiation is over. You know what uh, needs to be done. There must be something we can do. Should I go back and try to talk to him again? There must be something we can do. I appreciate your idealism. But there were only ever two ways this could end. Mm. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. Uh -oh. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards inside at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. Soldier, let me handle this. I'll put the amateurs down before they know what hit them. Done this kind of work before, huh? Good. I'll feel a lot better about sending in a professional. That sounded kind of cold-blooded. Now, I see uh -oh. two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Okay. I'm sure sure. things will turn out just fine. Alright, let's sneak into the bank. I think that's probably gonna be uh, not better, but uh, maybe perhaps a bit more spontaneous. Let's see. Eliminate the bank robbers. Yikes. Oh my god. End of the line. What the freaking hell, man? Oh! Oh! I'm boxing this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh shit! Sam! Darn it. I don't want to have to do this. 
damn it. This is not what I planned for. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? I got you, Sam. Yeah, he's scraping to walk away from his good one. Don't worry about him. Oh my goodness. I made the bank robbers. There's still somebody up there. Wait, why? Oh, that's just probably for us to leave. Alright, hold on. Obviously, we gotta check this out here. You never know. Okay. Take that. Look at this gun. We're about to buy a gun like this. We just found one. Front door key. Okay. That's probably good to have. More credits. Leave that there. Leave that there. Hold on. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, dude. Shit, we can steal the credits? Oh, that's not good. No, I'm not gonna do that. That might not be good. <laughs> steal the credits from now the Now I have two heroes, Solomon Cole and you. Hmm. I mean, I would steal it if they weren't looking, but you know? What happens if I get seen as I'm doing that? Been here already? I think I just did a freaking lap around this place. Nice. Space Tucker casual wear. Take the good stuff, leave the rest. Yeah. I learned that the hard way, believe me. Believe me. What is this? You've been caught stealing and alarm has been raised. Oh shit. Security. Stop, Stop the running. Increase oh. our security. I'm here Stop with right now. Could really use someone helpful like you. Uh, After the job uh, you did with the bank, it should oh. be easy. Bro, you guys are. Talk to Amira Wolf at the Low House. Charity of the Wolf. Let me talk to this girl, Elizabeth Cardwell. That was incredibly brave of you. Um. Okay. I thought these guys were here for me because I robbed some credits, but I guess not. There's also some sort of chest, lettuce, spaghetti. We're in a bank, so anything we do here is going to be, you know, it's not going to be good. It's going to be considered uh, considered stealing, so it's probably best we just get the heck out of here. There we go. Alright, here we go. That was the easiest uh, bank heist stoppage I've ever done in my life. Those guys were chumps. Nice work. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? Of course they are. It's me. Mighty confident, aren't you? <laughs> well, I've got no cause to doubt you as long as you get results. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Wow, right. 3,800. Now the lines are going to Let's get back in Galpac, see if we can get those maps. Oh, baby. What do you say? Spending time in Hard G is a good workout. Hold on. I don't hey, need hey. to like it, though. Go to the Gal Bank vaults. I, I just need a minute. Here. This is for you. Oh, thanks very much. Did well, I, I see your parents didn't skimp on your P's and Q's. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. Oh, you didn't have to do that for me. Just don't expect a tip, my good man. No, no nothing like that <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. Oh, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Some of the choices. Check in with me now and again, and I might find more. Or nobody's gonna pick up these bodies, or what the hell's wrong with you guys? 
All oh, right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Oh, shit. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. There's a paper. That's what we're after. Okay. This is pretty good. Heavy mass. But I can sell those. Sam. I can definitely sell this crap. Search for the maps. Talk to Sam. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Sounds like we need to talk to him. I'm walking into drama. This is the part where I walk into drama. Who's Jacob? Why'd he take the maps? He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Mm. Persuade. Sam. Level with me here. Tell me who Jacob is. We really gotta do this? Uh, yeah, dude. We're going to the estate anyways, so I'm going to find out. You're not wrong. Hmm, we can't work together if you don't trust me. I know, it's just... It's personal. All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? I, I knew it. We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Thanks for opening up to me, Sam. Uh, you say that, but you brought us here. Brought Cora. What about Cora? She and your dad get along? <laughs> God, that's the worst part. They're the thickest thieves. Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, co-tradition. All right, shall we? Deputized, Marshal Daniel Blake directed me to speak to Ranger Emma Wilcox at the Rock in Aquila City if I'm interested in joining the Free Star Rangers. Okay, maybe after we finish this, we can come back and see what the heck that's all about. It seems like every city, every planet has got some sort of, Ranger Central. you know, some sort of group that you can join and take on jobs. I'm wondering if you can join more than one. That would be, uh, that would be kind of interesting. Maybe you can. I hope you can. Okay, let's see. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Asta are no joke. Even for us. So his dad lives here? Is that his dad? Yep, that's his dad, alright. decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. This isn't about you or your ancestry. It's bigger than that. Whoa, don't drag me into this. I got as much right to you, uh, to those maps as anyone. Just why don't you, uh, why do you, why do you two hate each other so much anyway? There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the Starfield doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. Hmm. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. 
Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I'm up for a little adventure. Uh, okay, what the hell was that all about? Bro, Sam, I'm sorry, but I'm about to rob your dad. Jacob, this is uh, out of retirement. I know you're going out of the game, but we could really use some help. The UC is growing bolder, and you always had a way of negotiating around them, or even through them, to keep the free star ahead. I'm not asking you to come out of retirement. If you could work part-time or be a consultant, I'm sure we can agree with uh, fair compensation. I really need your help, old friend. Even if it's grabbing you a beer at the stone root so I can pick your brain. Thanks, Cartwright. Now, we also had, uh, if I remember correctly, we also had... We picked up this thing here. Not the card. Um, the bank. Out of retirement. No for Sam. Sam. I know you and your friends were going to come to plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Alright, that's why we came to his house. Hold on, Sam. Let me see what your dad has here. Quite the uh, interesting individual. So whenever you see that little thing, that means you're stealing. That red icon, that means you're stealing from someone. So we have to be careful. Oh, shit. We can sleep here, but we can't because it's not owned by us. Obviously, you don't want to sleep in somebody's bed. That's just, just creepy and weird. Ooh. Oh, this is to leave. Okay. I thought it was some sort of safe or something. Where's Sam? Let's talk. Give me a sec. All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. All right, so optional ask Cora for help. Optional talk to Jacob and Sam and have Sam distract them. Talk to Jacob and pursue. Let's try and persuade him, dude. Let's 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 try and do that. Let's try and do that. If that doesn't work, then maybe we can sneak around or call his granddaughter. What is it this time, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co-property by birthright. Hmm. It stays here. All right, Sam's your son. Don't you want to help him? You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Constellation just wants to follow up on Solomon's work. We'll be respectful of the maps. Well, it's not your place to butt in. Oh, shit. I know you'd like to help him if you could. Sorry, but I can't. Well, I suck at I'm this. I'm not flapping my jaw one more second over this. The answer's no. There she is. Hey there. Need to make a quick getaway? Or is this a we're coming back for the better weapons kind of thing? We need your help. Uh, nothing yet. So tied. your grandpa's Jacob Cole, right? What do you think of him? We need your help. Really? Over my strong objections. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. Let's go. Sorry, dude. I mean, come on, man. Let's go. Stop being a wimp. Your daughter can do this. Come on, let's go. I wonder if that's gonna have any consequences for the future of our story here. your granddaughter <laughs> there's my girl look how big you've grown you should see my right hook now 
I bet I could knock you flat on your butt, old man. <laughs> now that's the spirit. <laughs> Only your ancestor Solomon could be here to see how bright the cold future was. Can we move this along? Uh, don't listen to him, my darling. You should stay here with me during your visit. Coa State's a much better place than some musty old starship. Can I, Dad? No. She was just popping in to say hi. That's it. You want those maps, Sam? Oh. Don't think I don't see what you're up to. She'll be safe here while you're doing whatever it is you're gonna do. Fine. Hand them over. So we're trading our don't daughter or me. his daughter. Hanging out at the estate is great. For the maps. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, Sam. It's just business is business. All right. right. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Just tell me what's wrong. Don't say, uh, don't say things like that. My anxiety is bad enough as is. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Well, you ain't wrong. Well, let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Okay, how are they surviving outside the walls? Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashton. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw Gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Criminals with our artifact. They'd better not break it or sell it. Damn, I was hoping we were done with them. Bringing out loss of justice sounds like fine work. Me too. But there's no help in it. We're gonna have to get through them and the local wildlife to get to that cave. Travel to the empty nest. Okay, sheesh. I don't know why Dad never wants me to visit Grandpa. They're so alike. All right, so I think we're gonna head up here by the tower and see if we can jump down. I'm sure there's a door down below. Let me see if I can. Can we get up there? Ah, oh, almost. Almost. But check this out. We've got nickel. We've got a couple more to go. About five more different uh, resources to scan. Look at this, dude. This is. This is definitely one of the planets that we found aluminum that actually has life. Like grass and shit. I wonder if we can put an outpost. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but that'd be this this would be a great planet. I know there's other planets out there that have more. Use the hand scanner to scan 10 unique resources. Argon. Argon? Argon? A golden creeper. What the fuck is that? Whoa! Whoa! What is it? A dinosaur? What the fuck? Oh my god. A Mossognath. Dude. That is so freaking cool. Let's go, boys. What is that? Raising as Enzifer and Cypher. Hi! Hi there, little buddy! How you doing? Uh, don't do anything stupid now. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh oh. Oh shit. We've gotta be careful here. Uh, I, I don't wanna upset these guys. This is their world, their homeland. We're not here to start trouble, okay? We're here to... Oh, elk. Something. What is that? Oh, shit. All right, hold on. These are pretty nasty. 
What is it, like a rhino or something? Huh. Did you just kill him? Nice. All right. This is definitely filled with wildlife and life in general. We also have the savannah sweet bush. Very, very cool. Oh, he's dead. Oh, somebody killed it. Something killed it. Can we loot it? Uncommon organic resource. This item can be used for components. Oh, shit. All right, no, no, you ain't gonna tell me twice. Got some alien life. Huh. Yeah, we can definitely start an outpost here. This is freaking cool. My gosh. I'm so sorry, little guy. Fiber, fiber leaf uh, added. Damn, we need two more to get all the resources, which is, uh, what is it? Water. Oh, H2O and benz benzene. I'm not sure. We're getting some sort of desert storm now. This is so freaking beautiful. My goodness. All right, we gotta go find some water. If we can find some water. And as you can see, now we can do an, outpo an outpost here. You can't do it over there where we came from because we're a little bit too close to, you know, the city or whatnot. And it's probably, you gotta be X amount of miles away from there. Bolts. Got that already. And I almost like the third person view in this game better. Truthfully. I don't know. It might just be me. I just feel like you get to enjoy the, the, the beauty of the game more. Because the character's graphics, like the graphics on your character are so nice. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. It's coming. It's coming. Well, we're here. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh, I think it's dangerous. That's an antimicrobial. Man, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these words. Aluminum. All right, where the hell's the water here? Come on. Stop playing with me. Canary reed. Is that the same one? Nutrient seed added. Right, we gotta we gotta get up there. Well you better grab on. H2O's gotta be here. Oh, what is this? Get the artifact. Travel to the empty nest. Is this full of like... Oh. No, but these guys should be alright. Right? Oh, no, they're not. They're like... They're bandits or something. Oh, shit. Alright, well. There's a turret there. Actually, let me see if I can destroy the turret. That would be... That would just be amazing. There's another turret over there. Gotta destroy the turrets. There's no, there's no way around that. Right now we've got this gun that is just flat out amazing. Yeah, baby, let's go. This is my favorite. Got this area well guarded. I feel like the damage, maybe the, the, the hit marker damage, might be, should be a little bit more consistent. I feel like something I'm hitting these guys that I'm not doing much. Maybe I'm just too far. 
Alright, I can't hit him through there. Alright, let me try this new weapon. Where's that new weapon? Or actually, let me try this one. We've got a rifle on this. We have a scope on the I'm sorry. We have a rifle. That doesn't even make sense. Hold on. Shotgun time! Oh! Oh, he has a shotgun too. Get off me, punk! Oh! Turn over there. Oh! He's got a, he's got a punch on. Hold on. First person. Go to first person. Nice. There's that turret. We gotta take it out. Really low on bullets here, and low on health. Get this man on the head. Why won't you die? Come on. Where's my shotgun? These guys have a lot of resources here, man. I cannot believe I just missed those two shots. bullets. Holy cow. Alright, there's the nest. Wait, is that a robot? Oh my god. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Oh, this is like a rifle. Like a marksman rifle? Oh shit, nice. Alright, so the fire does do some sort of uh, residual damage. That robot just went flying, and there's more enemies here. That's just fucking fantastic. Where is he? Oh. Okay, okay. Is that it? There's another one. All the way over here. Where is he? This way. Perhaps back here. Oh, it's a turret. Holy smokes. Okay, I think we're clear. I think we've cleared the camp. So. Everything I've dealt with. Let's see. Um. Oh, that's pretty freaking nice. Look at this, boys. Grab everything useful. Oh, hell yeah. I'm grabbing some new guns. Some wire. Whatever I can get, I'll just give it to this guy. That feels like it's gonna be important. All right, I want to loot all the bodies first. 57. This one is the same shotgun I have, so we don't have a need for that. We have here. Hmm. I think we're good. What do we have here? 57. A med pack. We're gonna need that. There's got to be more bodies around here. Alright. Got to use the scanner in order to... I wish there was like a way to know... Oh, what the... Acids and well, I'll take it. I wish there was a way to tell the, you know, like the bodies that you've looted already. Even though sometimes you don't pick everything up, so you, you know necessarily doesn't mean fully looted, but at least a way of like knowing you've already explored the inventory from that fallen body. You know what I mean? Just to save Looks time. Looks like a smuggler den, warren mm. nest, or whatever you call it. Smugglers are near. Thank you. What 
is this? Steeler's casual hat. Probably should have picked that up. That was dumb. Lung damage. What the fuck? What? Why? Why? Lung damage? Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? <laughs> this thing is dead. I'll take that. stink to high heaven, but it's all mm. part of the job. All right, those are... What was that smart Smugglers are as common as fleas. I'll go inside here, too. I've not gone in there. So let's see, what do we have inside here? Ooh, a new helmet. Not necessarily the best of helmets, so maybe s skip out on that synthetic turkey. Synth turkey. <laughs> All right, synth turkey it is, boys. What is that? Iron. Iron more mines. Shaw Gang, welcome. Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much, but I know you'll find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the th thumb of the Free Star Guards. Plus, the ash don't come around here. So outside of Aquila, this might be the safest place on the planet. Join me for a drink when I get back. Oh, sorry to hear you uh, and your people, uh, you know, just got absolutely demolished. What is this? A tombstone. We are about to enter the empty nest. Mm. Protection region. What is... Oh, there they are. We have, like, no sneaking abilities. What the... F so easily like what the hell man it's kind of annoying all right this guy's got a cave key that's gonna come in handy Ooh. all you I'll take this we have enough of those don't want to grab that we have a weapon case here as well. Oh, look at this helmet. What? That's a nice looking helmet. Another helmet. Ooh. Some credits. Thank you. 194 credits. Not half bad. Oh, shit. expert damn damn that would have been nice and what in the world is that is that a new shotgun we are in a cave oh shit oh my god you've got to be very careful here oh whoa what the what does this do that's insane Oh, this gun is nasty. There you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're nowhere. <laughs> what did I just find? Oh my god. I cannot believe we just found this. Nickel. Aluminum. Oh, this is kind of creepy, honestly. Not even gonna lie. It's a little creepy. Just a little bit. Can't see shit. Okay. There's gonna be a bunch of them here. Hello? If we had a drill, we can get those uh, resources, but I don't think we have a drill. <laughs> Whoa, could 
that be it? You've done this before, right? Can't oh be shit. <gasps> there it is. Stop for a beat when you passed out. I'm glad. So long. Passed out. Okay. Ooh. Look how hard that was to break. My gosh. Probably gonna come in handy. Oh yeah. It'd be silly for us to come here and not, you know. I grab any of this. Him have it, all right. Let's all right, get that we artifact go. I'm gonna go to. I wouldn't say no to one Tory. Um, and go to resources, and I'll go to value, or actually, yeah, value. All right, look at this. 264 per. That's insane. Oh, okay, those are the good guys. I'm about to say, <laughs> bust a cap on your ass. I think that's far enough. Uh-oh. Hate to put a hole in the head of <laughs> Akila's own prodigal son. At mm. least not before we've had a word. They are the bad guys. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Mm. Sam Co in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who... I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Let's try and persuade him. Now we're gonna kill her. Oh, really? Let's hear it. All right, this is an important scientific discovery. Let us go and you'll be in the history books. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster <laughs> does sound nice. You let us leave now? We won't tell the authorities where you were. <laughs> so what? By morning tomorrow, we're gone anyway. Oh, shit. I'm gonna try the auto persuade saying I should cut my losses hmm huh. <laughs> fine get right. the hell out of here before I change my mind 
That worked. I see you again. You're dead. Maybe the auto persuade it takes the easiest route. This is your fault. No, no. You better lend us a hand. Wait, what? What happened? What's what's going on? The emptiness. What the fuck? Oh shit! Have no fear. Hold on, I got a new. Got this new shotgun here. Oh! Hold on. No, I'm not gonna waste my shotgun on that. Razorback added. Oh, what? Thank you. It was nice doing business with you all, kind of, sort of, even though I robbed your entire facility. Then you kind of gave me cobalts. Then you kind of gave me a free weapon, which is kind of nice. So, definitely an outpost in this area would be. Would be phenomenal. Guys, we found water. We finally found water. Water added. Oh, you can harvest the water. Nice. We are... Prognosis improved. Lung, da uh, lung damage. That's the frontier. That's what we're... Okay. That's our ship over there. Got more water here, too. Damn, did it rain or something? We're finding all this fucking water? Anyways. Man, look how beautiful this is. This is why I enjoy it more on... Why I enjoy it more on third person. Because it just looks so nice. All right, so we're now going to go and travel back to the lodge. We do have a bounty of 88 credits. I don't know if anything's going to happen with this um, once we enter this area, especially since we have a bounty. I don't know if they're going to... I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We can probably go to the rock within this planet that we were just in and maybe pay the fee. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't want to start any dialogue there just yet. Samco has stopped following you. Prognosis, improved lung damage. I don't want to... I don't want to start any quest or yet because then if we're not going to do that at the moment. Um, I don't want to have to go back to it later on and then it's it's all sorts of weird. There's his daughter. So his daughter didn't stay with the... Uh, hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the audience. There's no way someone her age. Relax. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Hold on. Let me go ahead and sleep because when you're well rested, it's better. Lung damage cured. Nice. So we're going to sleep here. Um, let me sleep 24 hours. I mean, shouldn't have slept so much. I read that if you are well rested, you gain more XP for a limited amount of time. But since we're about to probably level up, maybe that might help. Because this is going to be a crucial moment. If I hit cancel. All right. We've awoken feeling well rested. Okay. That's, that's good enough. Let's go here. And this is a cooking station. We got to start cooking some shit too. Here we go. I 
All ears. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Mm. Okay, actually, I don't mind. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. Huh. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Finishing the emptiness has made some code dismissible, modified, calibrated, random, added. Hold on, what the hell did we just get? New items, modified. Oh, okay. Whatever, I guess. All right, so here. We have the weapon workbench, uh, spacesuit workbench. Let me see what this is all about. Um, the bolstering elliptic spacesuits. Hmm. So this we can modify. Oh shit. Hold on. Mod one. What does this do? Oh wow. Energy shielding. Combat veteran, 50% less damage from human enemies. I, I wouldn't mind doing this one because I actually like it. Um, so we're going to do that. So can all Victera miners do all that? It seems like also different slots give you different things. Like this one is completely different than this one. And it's the only one that gives only positives. So, unfortunately... We don't have the microsecond regenerator or whatever that component is up there, but it's good to know. The industrial workbench allows you to create basic man uh, manufacturer components which can be used for building structures for your outposts and crafting mods for your weapons and equipment. The raw resources used for manufactured components can be acquired from planets and moons by starting an outpost and setting up resource extractors. More advanced man uh, manufactured components can be created from fabricators at an outpost. I feel like that's probably something that we can start doing while we're at an outpost instead of doing it here and then carrying it into the outpost and stuff like that. Um, I think that's probably best. Same thing with the uh, with the weapon workbench. Um, this one I, I'm still kind of confused because. Required research, barrel mods. Okay. So we're gonna go to the research lab here. And um, this is what we have to do in order to be able to upgrade the, um, the weapons. So right here, um, this is for receiver mods. How about these? See, this is how you unlock more mods, okay. This is for barrel mods. Um, we would need iron, nickel, and sealant. Uh, we should have firm. Okay, that's completed. Oh, we need sealant. Pretty sure we had sealant. Alright, projects have been completed. Research project barrel mods. One has been completed. Now we can probably add that. The barrel to this. See, now we can do it because we have the barrel mines completed. That's insane. Yeah, let's do that. You can never go wrong putting some more TLC into your main mm -hmm. one. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do it on this one too. Fuck it. It's going to be heavier, but I'm just going to go here now to the skills and we're going to add some stuff. 
We still have the ballistics, which uh, is important, to be honest. Uh, ballistics weapon system, which is uh, deal uh, 1,000 damage to the enemy ships with ballistic weapons. Ballistic ship weapons have 10% increased damage. We did that already. I think I'm going to probably unlock. Uh, you can utilize the ship's thrusters. You can attempt to hack advanced locks and uh, two auto attempts can be banked. Unlocks ship's targeting functionality. Let's do that. Okay. I feel like this might come in handy just because we can probably carry more eventually. Unlock the uh, total carrying capacity by 10 kilograms. Bro, yes. Yes. Yes, this is the one. Sprint 1,000 meters while at 75% or more of your maximum low capacity. All right, so we're going to do this next mission called Into the Unknown, which is our last and final mission that we have on our main missions category. It says, Sarah has asked me to go to the Eye, a star station the Constellation owns in orbit of Jemison. I need to meet with Vladimir Sal about finding more artifacts in the fringes of space. I think this was the, uh, the area where we first came in on episode one. This place is just so big that I'm still like, yeah, this is it right here. I think we actually have to get on our ship. Yes, I think so. That's exactly what we have to do. And by the way, shipbuilding and all that stuff, that's that's a much later thing. We can upgrade our ship, but the whole shipbuilding, I think that's a later game thing that, uh, that you probably are going to be doing so i'm okay with like not having to build a ship right now maybe obviously upgrading it but i did read that take off, Captain. we should be fine for now if we don't make like a ship or whatnot splendid today mm -hmm. captain your ship is way bigger than dad's why thank you well i'm actually quite cooler than your dad too you know uh, just just no saying did you explore so we're gonna go get on our cockpit and uh, we are about to well, go. I meant to, but then I caught an SLS and it led to this whole goose chase. And take off. So, did you do it? No. Lift I mean, I now. meant to. But then it I do need to upgrade it. We'll be upgrading our ship soon. How about I just attacked the mess then? That's uh. That may be best. This is Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. Got your ping loud as a bell. Eyes ready to let you aboard. Okay, we had to hail first. Alright, good, good. Alright, so now we can, we can approach this. Interesting. We had to hail before docking. The eyes open to you, Constellation. There we go. So cool. Airlock integrity looks good. Doing all right, Gumdrop? We're home. All right, whoa, this place is crazy. Are we okay to take things from here, or are we not? This is massive. Let me go on first person just so I can uh, get there better. I guess easier. I, I just want to explore so much. Shit. Vladimir. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Hmm. Rook on deck. That's pirate talk, isn't it? Former Crimson Fleet. An old Jacobons would be the term for it, back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. And here I thought I was the only uh, one in Constellation who worked out. Nice arms. Ah! <laughs> Gotta pass the hours on the Star Station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Word to the wise, don't arm wrestle him. I'm still hurting from that. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Uh, 
That happens to me too. I get lost sometimes and lose time. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. The Sea of Light? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light, and she only has one speed. Lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. You're asking me to chase ghosts. It could be nothing. Wouldn't be tipping your ear if I thought it was a waste of time. Giving you the best of what's available. No more. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Okay. Who's he? Another rook in Constellation who's making a name for herself. Uh. Nice to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Okay, exploration takes time. I'm sure she's fine. I'll keep an eye out for uh, Andreja. She's as tough as they come. But happy to lend a hand if needed. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune Smile and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Okay, so into the unknown. We've got a couple of things to do here now. Find her, go to. Hold on, I'll take a look at that now. Your artifact search must be a full time job. Do you visit the lodge often? Or do you get mixed up with the constellation? So, you retired from the Crimson Fleet. Didn't know that happened. Your artifact search must be a full-time job. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the Eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And... Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Survey data. Uh, I can get that for you. I've got other things to do. Where can I get these scans? When you're orbiting a planet, your ship's scanners can pick up all sorts of right, information. LB. Signs of life, resources, structures where they shouldn't be. It all gets downloaded into data you can hand over to anyone who's interested. And Constellation is always more interested than most. Survey data? I can get that for you. Then we're hand and hand in agreement. Now, get out there and burn some helium. Alright, so... We've got some survey data for him already. Let me actually ask him this question first. So you retired from the Crimson Fleet? Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. Wow. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Let's see, what do we have on this side? It's just blocked off too. Okay, that's another docking area. Med pack. You need med packs, man. In this game, absolutely. Med packs are super important. Utility knife. We've got some tape. Uh, folder. Bolt cutters. I think we can pass on that. Let me go around. Him. That's our ship right there.
there docked. It's so freaking cool. And we go this way. Just got some tape there. We can also go in this direction. This is where he lift weights. Which is uh pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. Alright, we go over here. That's where he's at. Go down this hallway. 447 credits. Thanks for the free cheese. Sam, you gotta get out the way, bro. Seriously, you're pissing me off. What do we got here? Notepad. Once you start playing this game for a little while, you start realizing there there, there is a lot of junk in this game that uh, you could just dismiss. But it's cool to know that it's there, you know, for you to pick up. What the hell is that? What was that? Wow. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay. All right. All right. Look at the valley on that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take it back. I bet Cora's already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. Hmm. I'm in the mood for a mocha macchiato. <laughs> How about you? A mocha Hi. macchiato. Hello. Books. Uh, I'm confused. I need a little more help to go on here. Oh, I need a little more to go on here. Are you talking to me? That's an odd way to start a conversation. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Do you have more books or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My Maybe book allowance is all gone and dad won't get me more. So, books? Hey, uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. Give credits, add this to the book fund. There are plenty of books on the computer. What sort of books are you into? I like books about quantum theory and astrophysics. Or science. Sheesh. Or horses. Did you know that it wasn't until after the Industrial Revolution that horse speed was the maximum civilization speed for centuries? All of society was built upon horses. Imagine what they must have looked like for real. They look smelly, in a good way. Hmm. Uh, here. Oh, 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 Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Just give well, her 50 now bucks. Now you can get pestered about books <laughs> nonstop. Yeah, a small price to pay for my education. Now the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? And um, please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Uh, good old plain cheese. Pizza is a classic. I like meat. Whatever's handy. Veggie pizza... Did Meats. you hear that, Dad? Meat! We have you outnumbered! <laughs> we could always get one of each. No, you lose. <laughs> I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves! <laughs> hmm. I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Man, what is my fan sleeping in my bed? Piazza kind of sounds like pizza, so... <laughs> Alright, now that we're here in this... Facility, vicinity... Or what have you... Let's just go ahead and land... And see what happens. Alright, yeah, this is definitely a new planet. Let's put this bird on the ground. Whoa! Look at this place! Yo, this is beautiful here. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Are they under attack? What the hell's going on? Hmm, what is this? Minor. Uh. <gasps> what the fuck? All right, something's going on here. Distilled water. We've got a drill as well. A 
abandoned mine. What happened here? Hello? Oh, hold on. We got some bad guys here. Well, I'd love to put my new guns to the test. I mean, be my guess. Where's that guy? Oh, that's a turret. I need to get that small SMG that I had. Sniper's not too strong. Little hand cannon we acquired. Oh boy. Hold on a sec. Sheesh, look at this. Deep recon. God, bro. This is all brand new shit. Secret outpost, spacer, communication. Where are they? Some back here. I should probably take out that turret first, right? Yeah. There should be probably also like a turret control. If you guys remember, there was a, on the last area, there was like a little control, sort of um, computer or whatnot that you can control the turrets and use it against the enemies. But the thing here would be, where the hell do we find that? You know, it's like, do we really want to spend time looking for that? I mean, yeah, that'd be nice. Never mess with the code. Come here, punk. Yo, this thing is insane. Oh, this actually has fire bullets. Very nice. Okay, chunks of beef. Got one of these. All right, there's got to be some more enemies up here. Maybe inside this little area. Big mistake. Oh, shit. Actually, no, you guys, big mistake. Oh, he moved out of the way. Asshole. Uh, we gotta leave now. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, shit. How'd that miss? Come on, bro. Uh. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah. I don't want to be so aggressive, but you guys, you guys are just relentless. You guys don't really give a damn. I'll take that. I do like that SMG, man, but I just feel like, I don't know, it's kind of weak right now, maybe? Six damage? It's not really a whole lot to go on. Let's see, in there. You probably should investigate. But hold on, what the hell is this? Meal, chicken, milk, and grapes. I'll take that. Absolutely. We've got this. Old earth hunting rifle. Hold on a second. Anything that's earth related, I'm, I'm in there like swimwear. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm in there. Look at this shit. Oh my god. I'm going to favor that to, let's say, we also have this guy down here. Hold on. And we have this. Pharmaceutical kit, frag grenade, infernal, storage. Damn, bro, I need, to, I need to get that shit. Whoa. I really need to get that, um, the lock pick upgraded. Harvested organs. Is that contra is that considered contraband? You've picked up a contraband item. These are illegal to have on or in your ship. Security ships orbiting major settlements will scan your ship for contraband and will not let you land until the scan is complete. You have a chance of smuggling contraband past them. If you fail, you could be arrested and have your contraband confiscated. To have a chance at smuggling, you need to place your contraband in a cargo hold with shielded cargo capacity. Bro, the value of this thing is 13,000. 13,000. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to leave it here because I need to upgrade the ship um, to get the shield cargo 
or the cargo shield higher in order to take any contraband. If not, we will get arrested and whatnot. So I don't want to deal with that nonsense right now. Got no idea what goes with all that. So we're going to play it safe. Let's go in here and see what we got. Space Trucker Hall Wrap. No, thank you very much. That is uh, pretty damn random. Oh, shoot. Another one of these miners with... It's a <gasps> metabolic agent. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. AMP. Turrets control in here. I freaking knew it. Okay. I mean, it's good to loot because these things are used like whenever you hit, you know, the workbenches and stuff like that. removing diseases and poisons whoa that's nice whoa that is really nice actually no that's a myth what is that oh sorry nutrients you gotta take the nutrients Oh, I love this freaking planet already. We just got here, but this is freaking great. Another med pack. Light part of the fuse. Toxin. Frag grenade. That's gonna be for that, I suppose. Correct. Correct. Let's get in there. I love this little gun. This might be my favorite new little weapon. It's amazing. Ooh, it's like a slug there. What the fuck? Hold on. Let me go in here. There's a spacer down below. Oh, I can't go in there. That sucks. Okay, what gun am I using here? Am I using this bad boy? Yeah, you best believe we're using it. Oh, shit. Sorry, sister. You asked for it. Not me. What is this spacesuit workbench? Wonder if that's a hit. Like, hey, stupid, upgrade your spacesuit. <laughs> oh, we've got one of these. Oh shit, this takes forever. These are actually quite difficult sometimes. Wow, we actually got it. Woo! Thank the Lord. Oh, this one's actually pretty good. Not half bad. Probably gonna need that um, that cutter. I think this guy has one, so we should be all right. I should probably check with so his. How inventory. much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? Uh, not really, but such an honor. You should uh, see my diary. <laughs> yeah, but no <laughs> autographs, okay? I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co, and they expect me to pull some. Miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. Sounds like you uh, aren't happy being related to Solomon. Well, then uh, I want my miracles. Why do you, why do they re revere Solomon so much? Is that what? It, how do you say that word? Re rever? Revere? Revere? I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there uh, there was a time, well before Korra, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Korra to... <laughs> I don't know. 
Every parent wants their children to learn from their mistakes. That's some serious parenting thought there. Cora's great. You kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> it's hilarious how you can flirt with everyone. You say the damnedest things. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. All right. Any so, day you make it through is a victory. If you need me to haul something. All right. I just want to make sure this guy has. Okay, he has a cutter. That's all I wanted to do. Then he went on a rant yeah, about Solomon. Blah blah blah. And I, man, I just wanted to know if you had a cutter. That's all. You know. So I didn't give you one of these. Shooting at? Are they shooting at somebody else? All right, guys, calm down, please. Just relax. Oh, look at this. That's a cool helmet. Want to sell that shit? A mag pressure tank. I'm sorry, I'm going a lot into the inventory. I'm just. I got to see uncommon. Okay, that's for crafting. I had no idea that would, that that would be. I get my hands on you, you're gonna regret it. You're down below. Nice. Is that lead? Sweet. Right. Turn on our flashlight here. Hold on. Let's go in here. Oh, fuck. Look at how many things there's in there. I'm gonna have to upgrade my damn lockpick. My lockpick skills. Man. I mean, I feel like we're just missing out on so many, like, good items, you know? Alright, here they are. I'm gonna find you! Well, you found me, alright. But unfortunately, I found you first. Oh, hi. Sorry. What? Ah! Impossible. You know what? You've made me really angry right now. Throw that grenade. That's a spacer punk. Alright, he's dead. Come on, show yourself. Me and my friend here are gonna teach you manners. Come on, man. Actually, hold on. Let's use this gun. Oh, it's suppressed. Damn, I had no idea. Okay. It's good to know. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, you're dead, dude. I'm going to smoke you right now. Come here. Ooh. Sorry about that, dude. <laughs> All right. He's got... um. 
Ooh, that's a nice little... I think we have that. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to take it anyways. All right, let's do a quick little rundown here. I feel like we're getting close, but I also feel like we missed a lot back there down below. All right, this one, don't want that. Don't need that. That's pretty cool. Don't need it. Um, we have another one of these guys. What is this? And loading modified calibrated Grandel. Yeah, some of these things are pretty tempting, honestly. Not gonna lie. Pretty tempting indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Jetpack is coming in handy right now. You can also go this way, it seems. It's like a little catwalk. Are we going across the bridge? Ah, you of can course go we are. It's begging us to. Ooh, okay, so then what the hell's over there? Alright, let's go through here. This looks a little bit more. Lead never hurt nobody. Ooh, there's a dead miner. Ow. Credits. Wait, what the fuck? Weren't we just here? <laughs> what? We were just here, dude. about you i wouldn't say no to a gift here take take this dude where is it my inventory take the cutter goodbye goodbye to you too sir oh there's another spacer over there what the heck So now we are actually full on our stuff here, on our inventory, so we've got to be mindful of that. I'll take one of these, take some of these, 43, 
take more of that. Let's go up top. What do you say, my eyes? <laughs> oh, we've got grapes here. This guy was just like, I don't know what he was doing over here. Being an absolute clueless idiot. And well, he paid the price for it. He was not quite aware of his uh, surroundings. Oh shit, hold on. That was nice. Well, human weapons are the best. Oh shit. Sam Cole, do your thing, baby. Do your thing, bro. Hold on, time out. Okay, he's dead. I think they're all dead. Oh man, look at this. Ooh. That's really nice. Sadly, not that strong, but it looks cool. It's poison though. Fuck it, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it all, baby. Taking it all. Calibrated. I need to stop freaking picking up useless items. It's so freaking hard not to pick up everything. Seriously. I'm gonna check if Heller has a better storage than than Sam. Ooh. Sorry, dude. Bro, this gun is so deadly. Oh. <laughs> okay, we can laugh. We can trade laughs if you want, you know? <laughs> That's fine by me. I'm sorry, that was, that was terrible. Oh, this is that other area we didn't come by. I see. And we've got another one of these. Okay. This one here. And then we're going to do this one, this one. Yikes. My goodness. All right, let's get this done. Let's get out of here. Get back to work. Credits. This trauma pack medical reports. The patient suffered severe ingestion indigestion. I had to clean out his stomach after analysis of the stomach's contents. We noticed there were many worms. I also noticed the patient's breath was terrible despite having good oral hygiene. Another med pack. There are also this is the patient. There are also other, if you guys recall, here, if we go to, I think, was it notes? Let's see, name, weight, emergency transmission, medical report. That's the one we just read. Uh, secret outpost, spacer communication. Listen up, scumbags. The assholes are on the move and we've gotta be ready. No, not the UC, not the Freestar Collective. The ones that matter. Pirates, mercs, and those religious nut jobs. We always knew there were some places left over from the colony war. Bases, labs, stuff like that. But now it's come out that there are even more, a lot more, <coughs> spread all over the settled systems. Looks like the big two didn't play by their own rules when they were playing war. Now it's a friggin' feeding frenzy. Everyone trying to find them trying to use them so why shouldn't we we have just as much right as they do so let's go looking calling all spacers you know who you are because that's what they call us isn't it the ones in charge the ones who never respected us the free star collective the united colonies even the crimson fleet and ecliptic they see us as the leftovers <coughs> The unaligned space scum running rampant across the settled systems. And you know what? Maybe they're right. But so what? We matter just as much as they do. We deserve 
just as much as they do. A lot of you have been all over. You've seen the empty buildings, labs, factories, whatever. They're out there, lots of them. Abandoned after the colony war. And those others? They want them. They're taking them and everything inside. Are you gonna let them do that? You gonna let them get away with that? I'm not. I want my fair share. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to take it. Hmm. Alright, sweet. So now we can go back to our spaceship. I mean, there's so much that we can do here. I'm gonna do, uh... I'm probably gonna do an outpost here. I'm not gonna do it now, because that's gonna take me some time. Um... I'm just trying to get some of these videos ahead. But just look at how much there is here. I mean, these are things that obviously I wouldn't mind coming back and after the game and exploring. You know what I mean? Toxin sap. There's absolutely incredible planet here. This is this is crazy. Pretty freaking cool. Man. All right, just keep getting burnt. All right, well, seems like we have done unknown. Seems like we've done finished with this planet. We'll be back. We will be back indeed. This is, bro, I want to explore so much. Fuck. <laughs> All right. So let's get back inside. Um, I want to see something really quickly. I want I want to speak to Heller. Where's Where's a Heller at? History of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend like forever. I think we left him at the uh, other area. He's not here. Yeah, I think he's. So he's gonna take a nap, man. All right. Let's head over to our next location. Get me vid reception. Let me see my spam accounts. He's too big to be. Seen. Take it easy. Sorry. Hold on. Stay away from that thing. Harvest. This shit's dangerous. All right. Let's see if we can find this chick. Helium dispenser. I got trapped by the mine. That sucks. Alright, hold on. This is freaking huge, bro. Let me go in first person because I'm gonna go crazy. 
Ooh, that's a good one. And what is that? Another helmet displayed? For what exactly? Cool, but not better than mine. Another med pack. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that. What is this? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Industrial workbench. I'm going to look more into that. Probably start doing some of that on the next video. Getting into the workbenches and stuff. But again, you just need a mine. And you need to grab a lot of resources to start using that properly. Uh, which we could do. Um, and it's probably something like the out setting up outposts and stuff. It's probably something I do um, like off camera. Like, you know, setting them up at least. <laughs> this vet's going to die here, I swear. Straight up. You got to be careful, Sam. Your ancestors would be ashamed of you. How big is this place? Pretty small. Engineering. Already had that. Mobilizer. We can open this up. Digipix? More Digipix? Sure, why not? Work for these damn combinations. Sheesh. I have to say, this was not worth it. This room was not worth it at all. Is that her? Hey. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Uh, my name is Ray. I'm not, I'm not here to hurt you. Uh, I'm with Constellation. Vladimir sent me to find you. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. Well, I guess making sure you were all right was a bit of an overreaction, judging by the dead body and all. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Looks like maybe, uh, they had good reason. I'm just doing what I asked. I'm sure they meant well. <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Well... I already checked up on Barrett. I'd have you know. So I guess this is where we find the artifacts. The other artifacts. So are we doing two artifacts in one mission? That's a first. I'm not gonna pick that up. Weapon case. Take that. Computer. Starware. Robot control interface. Status inactive. Activate. This might be uh, what we need to do here. I guess we'll find out. Activating units. Any second now. Okay. Status active. Deactivating units. Why the fuck? No, be sure to carefully read the user manual before changing friend foe setting to combat compatible robots. Recalibrate friend foe settings. I have settings recalibrated to protect current user. Good. Damn, son. I think we just smoked them. Yo, that robot is going in. I'd be scared if I were you boys. That robot is going in. Oh my Bring gosh. It. Look at him, look at him. He just pimp slapped him. Bro, 
You got a story to tell. You just got pimp slapped by a robot. That's actually quite hilarious. Go down in history. Hmm. Thank God I activated that. There's not a whole lot of people here, but this is only the beginning, possibly. Let's see what these boys have. Ecliptic. We have that helmet. And we are no longer using it. Because we've moved on to bigger, better things now. Bad jokes three. Uh, excuse me. Maybe you could please move out of the way. Thank you. All right, this is new. This is the other entrance. No, We've got a weapon case here. Two weapon cases possibly. We already have that shotgun. No need for that. Oh, hold on. What I just pick up? That's a new. Uh... No man. Wait. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's the root. No, I'm gonna drop that. I already have that. Got that gear already. Med pack. Sam, I know you can sleep, but I am still having trouble. Oh my gosh, this again? I have tried to understand it, but I just do not. Is that his ex or something? Guys, how about we stop talking nonsense and get over here and handle this business? You know? Contact. Yeah, contact. You're dead. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's me shooting the enemies, you know? While you guys talk about whatever you're talking about. He's hurting. Alright, so the fire did some pretty decent residual damage there. Another med pack. Now it seems like we just have an abundance of med packs, which is pretty awesome. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Boom. Sneak attack for two times damage. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, we, how do they spot us like that? Damn, bro. It's for sure, obviously when we upgrade our, you know, our stuff, it's gonna be easier. I mean, come on, bro. Calibrated deep core spacesuit. Let me just take a look, see what that is. If not, we'll drop it. Dropping it. Oh. Bro, these these earth weapons are the best. I mean look at the damage on this thing. We get that critical, it's real nice. Alright, we haven't really got any critical on this guy, so we might have to start taking that back. There it is. Missing required ammo. <laughs> Sheesh. I was just glorifying that gun. I think they're all out. I don't even think we need to calibrate that robot, but he did help out, so I'm not complaining. Ooh, hidden little weapon case here. Fear Deep Seeker spacesuit. And 
Whoa, nuclear fuel rod. Oh shit, I'm gonna take this because I have no idea what this might, uh... They keep talking to one another, and I'm gonna start... I'm gonna have to start uh, giving away some slaps here. They are now focused on the mission at hand. This place is huge, bro. medical suit. That is ridiculous. Oh, shit. What in the world? Can we get out of here now? I think we can. Pop a medi. And there it is. Alright. We got a bunch of this, too, so I don't think we need to mine them. Alright, guys. Get ready. It's gonna get kind of crazy in here. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? Mm-hmm. Yep. And the visions keep getting uh, more and more clear. They keep adding and compiling on one another, which is interesting. I don't want to talk about it. Just count yourself lucky you didn't have to do that yourself. Yes, not that I've been able to make any sense of them. The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was either you or him, right? It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. Hmm. May I ask what your background is? I might make her my new partner. You know what I'm saying? You're looking real good. It's not really any of your business. I've done all sorts of things. Uh, I was a miner. Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with <sighs> risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the, the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Yeah, you've got it. Mum's the word. Um, it's not making. Uh, I'm not making any promises. Now I feel like I need to say something. They've come after you before. Yes, it would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. Varun Zelots. You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Hmm. Ah, uh, you've got a mum's the word. Um. Mum? This means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. Oh, damn. We can have her as a companion? No, come here, girl. What are you doing? I have my own way back. Go on without me. No! Come on. I want, I want you to be my partner. I will meet you back at the lodge. Oh, I gotta shoot you. 
Yeah, so I thought this was like some sort of like, uh, I mean, it, it's probably really strong, but it just kind of threw me off because it was so, um, so, so silent. I was expecting like a massive, you know, like based on the size of the weapon and all that stuff, but I'm sure it's pretty strong. I will say this, New Atlantis is a good place to raise kids. Sure is, dude. Let's get in there. We got two artifacts now. Let's see what happens. I would bottle that up if I could. Musty old books, a bit of marble. Oh, there she is. History. Available to you. Was there concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? Man, these artifacts items really are something else. That should be three artifacts to your zero. Um, Which leads are you following? A couple of scans from the eye. But mm. it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? The nature of. That's it. I remember what it was now. Where am I gonna find the Barrett, I must remind you. Not now, Vasco. Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Not taking uh, sides. How can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. That's the winning play. Just keep it to the sidelines. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. Andreja. I do not I'm mind being asked to join in a debate. It <laughs> was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. She likes me. Uh, and for yours, I'd be happy to keep traveling with you. <laughs> I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, oh, yeah. pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. What is it? Come here, girl. Let's, what are you doing? Let's go. Do you mind me asking you personal questions? Um, oh, she already joined us. All right. So, yes. Yes. Bye. All right, so I think we can uh, now go to Vladimir. Um, we'll ask her some personal questions later on. Let's go to Vladimir here. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Black Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts it matches one on another planet. A bigger one. Oh. Now we're talking. That doesn't make sense. The artifacts are roughly similar in size. The ones we found, anyway. No telling what this is. But you can feel that excitement in the air, can't you? Oh, it's yeah. something important. Going to send you the mark close as I can. But I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. That sounds interesting. Land near the anomaly. Use my scanner. Got it. Uh, you'd think something so big would be easy to find. So I need to search the whole planet for this thing? No. Just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a okay. boot's journey. But that's the explorer's lot sometimes. 
That's good for the next video. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. So there's a large anomaly on a distant planet that matches the signature of one of the artifacts. I need to find it. Alright, so this is the planet that we are about to enter. Interesting. Land at the scanner anomaly. So they they did say there's gonna be a lot of uh boot work here, so maybe we'll have to walk a bit. Oh, this pans out for us. I'm hoping we can probably sleep and it be daytime. It's kind of dark. I don't like it when it's dark. Especially that I can already see we've got alien mean? life forms. Um, go ahead and sleep here. Go ahead and sleep. That's more like it. Sweet. All right, so mm -hmm. I think she's following us, right? Yeah. Let me make sure here. Hold up. Open the hand scanner LB and look for distortions in your field of view. Follow the distortions to the source. This is what I'm talking about. The distortion. That's distortion. This way. Perfect. Got H2O here. We've got some copper. Chlorine. 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 Alright. Let's go. It's got to be this way. Got to be careful with those little lava pits or whatever they are. This planet. This is freaking beautiful. Oh, uh oh, hold on. What is that? A hurting crab fly grazer. Are they dead? Hmm. They are dead indeed. Something killed it. But what? Alright, let's pull up the scanner here. That direction. We'll keep going this way. There they are. Oh my god, there, there's a bunch of them. Alright, hold on, man. I don't want to get clamped here by some fucking bugs. What is your scanner review? Well... I'm trying to see where the uh, distortion is, but I don't see it right now. This way? Yes, I think it's this way. Oh, gosh. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right, good. As long as we don't attack them, they seem to be pretty docile. Oh! Follow me. 63% scan. Maybe I gotta get a little bit closer. Yes. 88. There we go. Oh shit. Hey, hey! Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? Swap out the weapons here. Bro! 
burn him with fire. It's a massive scorpion, dude. All right, put up the scanner. It's gotta be back here. Ah, oh, shit. Nice. You weren't even that bad. All right. I think it's this way. Unknown. Could it be over there where that flag is? It's got to be this way. Let's keep going. Hey, they weren't kidding when they said you're going to have to do a lot of boot work. I mean, sheesh. What is that? Like a jellyfish or something? Like a sky jellyfish of sorts? Investigate the source of the anomaly. It is there. I knew it, man. That freaking base. That insane futuristic metallic compound. I think we found it. Found it, guys. We did it. We did it. There it is. Oh, dude, this is massive. This is huge. Oh. me like that i i will kill you you understand i don't want to do it you made me do it i i didn't want to go there you made me go there this place is wild bro there's probably like nothing in here this is just all like massive ancient sort of temple with no expectations from me as far as uh chests and stuff like that goes this is solely from aliens and so i expect nothing but uh the artifact in here i could be mistaken i should probably follow the arrows so I don't get lost. Because at this rate, I am uh, I'm gonna be here forever. I'm gonna be searching here forever. Let's see. Look at this little hidden. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why to float and B to float down, dude? Those rings, uh, are they moving? They seem to react to us. Oh, this is so oh, fuck. What the hell? This way. No, investigate. Is there any more? 
There's another one here. Alright, so what's up with this? Are these artifacts just playing with us now, or what? Fainted. To equip your new power, press what? Are you all right? We need to get you back to the lodge. To equip your new power, press start to open the data menu. Select the area at the top to access your powers. What are we talking about? Anti-gravity field. Generate a localized field of intense low gravity and behold a planet's true power. Huh? Bro, come on. How does that even work? Press LB and RB to use your powers. What, you're not gonna tell me what you just experienced ah. because yes. I mean that shit wasn't normal girlfriend I'm glad to be back relax yeah it's like a bigger version of this Rix's bones look at you if you don't mind I'm gonna start doing some scans like right now we were right about the anomaly weren't we tip our ears on the tail it was a building like a temple. Vlad, it gave me powers. Powers. What in the blackest sea are you going on about? What did it do to you? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. It was a temple. I did this. I'm gonna use this everywhere. We need to keep this under wraps. No one can know it was a temple. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. 
Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting hmm. through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Other planets might have gravitational anomalies. Could I just uh, search for all of them? So you can just find all the temples for the artifacts we already have. I'll follow up on the other anomaly you found. Hopefully it's another temple. Don't think it's just fortunes left that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I command your service, Captain. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. Interesting. So now we have, uh, if we look here, we have got all the money, all the money can buy. Talk to water. And then we also have, I think something power from beyond miscellaneous. Ooh, acquire the power on Altair 4C. That might be a miscellaneous uh, mission that I might be interested in, to be honest. We also have here two skill points increase the total carrying capacity yes can i buy 25 kilograms yes 100 percent the next one's 50 and the, the other one's 100 boost pack fuel regenerates more quickly all right we'll go with that and then this one the last one doubles up uh, previous bonuses i think we're gonna call it quits here um i feel like a walking god at this point i mean I can control gravity now. That's pretty. <laughs> what even is this, bro? That is insane. But yeah, these missions are really, really long, and you can really just get lost in every single one of them. There's so much to do. And um, I, I, again, I've been saying this, I still feel like this is only the beginning. I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll keep playing it by ear. We'll see where this takes us. I wanted to thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more episodes ASAP, drop a like on this video. Helps out the videos and the channel. And it lets me know you guys want to see more. So thanks again for spending the time. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.